Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Karen's Kitchen. I do apologize for not coming on yesterday, but I am getting to the point where I am coming on way too much, and I feel I've got to start taking breaks or start doing something else because I've come in here every day, and my viewership is just not there. Um, it's disheartening. Hi, good to see you. The viewership isn't there. People are not coming in for some reason, so I'm, I'm just deciding I'm going to have to take a lot less time to come in here and just spend more time with myself. Because I, I'm just, you know, I'm just kind of disheartened about not getting the viewership in here. Um, hi, good to see you. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to everybody at Sharon. And I miss you guys. In my last few Periscopes, I've missed you. Um, oh, yeah, okay, a PT with Brandon. Okay. Um, I figured you would be gone. But this is going to be, be made in the 10-inch skillet. It's going to be, and it's going to be put in my oven. Uh, I know, everybody missed me yesterday, but I was so tired yesterday and decided to take a break. And Alexis just messaged me about five minutes ago, finding out if I, if I was okay. She said, are you okay? Because she, uh, I know, I'm not going to, no. I, it's not going to stop me. It's just that I'm going to slow down a little bit. I'm not going to stop, I'm not going to stop completely, but, uh, but um, I know, I'm just going to have to slow down a little bit because I do this every day and it's taking up a lot of my time and, and I need to start, having more time to do what I need to do around this house to get it taken care of and stuff. So I need to start slowing down a little bit and not come in as often, but when I do come in, make it a very valuable scope. This, like I said, is going to be done in, my, in the in the, uh, in the skillet, but first of all, I have to mix stuff into the bowl. Um, yeah, I, I want to be coming in. I want to come in here, but I also don't want to, um, overtax myself because that's what I've been doing Co going on coming on here overtaxing myself that I don't have time for anything else you know so I've got to I've got to start having time for myself so that's why I've decided and Erlene everybody's in here welcome for, for coming in um, I decide I'm just going to start taking days here and there where I'm going to take a break so if I don't come in every day it's because I'm, I'm just decided to take a break I'm okay I just I just want to take a break from this from coming in every day and if, now should I decide to come in every day, I may do a different kind of scope altogether. I may do a, a knitting and or crocheting scope, or I may do a prophecy scope or something like that, or a dog, walking my dogs or something. Um, but uh, but as far as doing cooking scopes, I have to I have to cut back on that because I'm doing way too many of them. I it's just it's just taxing my time. It depends. I spend a lot of time in here, so I'm going to have to start doing things a little bit differently. Um, Oh it, yeah, I do have. A, I'm doing a knitting. I'm knitting a a hat for the homeless. We had a we had a barrel at the church that we filled up with hats, scarves, mittens, socks, jackets, and things for the homeless because it was through the, through the uh, mission. And I I had a whole bunch of hats and scarves I took one Sabbath for church and got rid of them. Everybody thought that that's that was what I made, you know. So I'm start I'm starting to make it some more. <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you. I know everybody has missed me. I know you missed me yesterday, but I wanted to come in here today, and uh, because I did miss coming in here yesterday, but I needed some time for myself. I can't be like I said. I can't be on here every day because this just takes up a lot of time. As you know, if you don't if you don't broadcast, you don't know. But if, when you broadcast, it takes up a lot of time, a lot of prep work involved. So I want to spend a little bit more time for myself. And with the holidays coming, it's getting kind of hectic and stuff like that. And I've been out. You know, been buying things. Basically, I've been buying things online, <laughs> so I don't have to fight the crowds. So that's a good thing. Anyway, I'm going to get this started in a little bit, and I'm going to tell you what I've done. Now, I did. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Now, what I did is I. You'll see two things of 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 uh, sugar here. It's your uh, um, cane sugar. I measured out a cup and a fourth, and what I did is I took the other small, this one here, and measured out and got you three quarters of that, and what's ever left. It's going to go for the top. Um, yes, it is. Oh, you're making some gingerbread? Awesome. Um, I just hope this bowl will be big enough. I'm going to try to make it big enough anyway. I don't want to use a bigger one all the time. So you know, hopefully this will work. It's a smaller one. If it doesn't work, we'll have to go to the next one. But I'd probably, I, I'm getting kind of tired of washing that one all the time. So um, first of all, I have to. Uh, it says combine three-fourths a cup of sugar, flour. I have to have a cup of flour, three tablespoons of cocoa, and baking powder and salt. And then i got blended my milk. The butter and the vanilla and beat until smooth. I did. I I did um, heat up my my uh, butter. I did melt that already, so that's already there. Is Alexis? Hi, Alexis. Uh, maybe I'm going to have to go and and uh, 
change the bowls and get the get the bigger bowl because I don't think this is going to really work. I think it's going to be too small. Um, let me put this back. I'm going to have to get the bigger bowl. I think this is going to be too small. Let me sit this in there and I'll get I'll get the next one up because that I can use. I'm, I think what I'll do is I'll use my uh, batter bowl as I'm on top and I'll just use it. I don't think it really matters, but it's it's big enough, so I'll just put everything in here because it's going to go into my skillet. Okay. Now what I'm going to do. It says combine three fourths cup of sugar flour. You got a cup of flour, so I'll have to use that. I'll use all purpose flour. Three tablespoons of cocoa, which cooks seven uh, tablespoons. Oh, thank you for, for the super arts early. Three tablespoons of cocoa and then baking powder and salt. So let me get my um, three quarter. Now, like I said, I measured out a cup and a quarter of sugar, but what I did is I took the smaller one so I could measure out three quarters because I didn't want to get too much in here because the rest of it's going to go on the top. So I measured out three fourths on here. So I'll put this in here. And these measure alls are great for, you know, you got the different sizes, so it really works really well. Um, and let's see, flour, one cup of flour, I do believe. Let me look at my, I want to make sure I've got, I'm doing what I, I need to do, because sugar, I think it's, a, it doesn't say sugar, cocoa, salt, yeah, one cup of flour. I couldn't see that, I couldn't see the flour on there. I knew it was there, but I just couldn't see it. Okay. Now, I'm going to put in a cup of flour in here. I'm going to move this over. I've got my oven already lit up. I'm going to put my flour in here. I probably should stand it in here. That way, if it, if it spills out, it's going to go into the bowl. And now, there, see what I mean? It, goes all, it won't go all over everything else. Because i got to wash it anyway, so I might just as well. Yeah, see what it's doing? It doesn't want to go in here very well. So that's makes it makes less mess that way. I aren't I aren't I genius? <laughs> aren't I genius for thinking of that? <laughs> Let me put this back. Okay. All right. Cup of flour. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's it's handy. All right. Um. Three tablespoons of cocoa, and everybody knows that I use carob powder. So I'll put three tablespoons in here. Okay. It actually calls for seven, but I'm going to start with three, because the others is going to go on top. And I'll use, oh, that, this is a tablespoon here. This is a tablespoon, so I'll use this. These uh, stackable ones are nice. One, two, yeah, three. I want to make sure it was a tablespoon and not a teaspoon. I'll just save that for the rest of it. And I'll put this on for right now so it doesn't spill out. Everybody knows I use Kara. Uh, Carmen's down here watching me. She's trying to see what I can what I can give her. I'm not dropping you anything, Carmen. Okay, um, the baking powder and the salt. Let's see how much baking powder I need. Um, I like to look at my instructions as I go along to make sure I don't I don't make a mistake. I need a quarter teaspoon of salt and let's see, where's the where is the uh, Baking powder. I know it's in here. I saw it. Okay, two teaspoons. Okay, a quarter teaspoon and two teaspoons. All right. All right. Let's use. Uh, I thought I had one of my other. Uh, I guess I must have these. Yeah. I guess they're all dirty again. I use those. I use those uh, adjustable ones so much. Let's see. I'll use this. Two teaspoons of. Uh, <laughs> Let me do it. Two, two teaspoons of baking powder and then a, a quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay, I'll do my baking powder right now so I don't forget. Oh, I know. I, I, I wasn't in here yesterday, was I? I, I decided to take yesterday off. And I'm kind of glad I did because I, I ended up falling asleep. I fell asleep, so I thought I just better take it take it off, and I won't fall asleep when I'm in, you know, when I'm in here. So I'm gonna put this back. Come on, man. I'll let you out. You wanna go out? Here, one, right there. One. I had to let the dog out. I think she needed to go out real bad. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay. I got all my stackable ones here. I don't know where those other ones are, so I guess I'll just have to use this. And my salt. Everybody knows I use sea salt. In fact, I'm going to have to get those 
those uh, adjustable ones. I'm going to have to get some more of those. They're starting to fall apart. The darn things, the black thing is not staying on top. So I'm going to have to get some more of those. I love them, but they, they're just not holding up as far as the, you know, the, where you adjust it. Keeps wanting to slide off and it won't stay on. And I'm not I'm certainly not going to glue it on because I like to take it off to wash it. Oh, cut a cup of garden. Also Sydney too. All right, now. Okay, baking powder and salt. And then blend in the milk, the butter, and the vanilla and beat until smooth. Okay, I've got a cup of milk I need to go in, uh, I believe, uh, here. So I believe I, I'm going to make sure it's a, a cup of milk. Let me look at my instructions real quick. Um, let's see. And just never, never, never any semblance of order in here. A half a cup of milk. Well, I better, it's a good thing I looked at that. A <laughs> half a cup of milk. Okay. Let me get my, I've got my milk out right here. I don't want to use too much milk. Everybody knows these measure rolls. These things are awesome. I love these things. I use them so much. They're my go-to, I guess. They're one of my main things I use all the time. I'm going to go ahead and put this milk back. All right. And then it says, um, blend in the milk, the butter, and the vanilla. And vanilla, I've got, let's see how much of that I have to do. One and one half teaspoons. Okay. And I, I think I've got, yeah, I've got one and a half here. I've got one, and i got a quarter, and I use my half. Here's a half. Okay, here, this will work. A half a tea, and I'll put that in here. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla. The rest of the sugar will go on top, so I can't use that right now. So, I'll put this in here, and then I'll blend in the milk. That, and a half. I'll go ahead and put this back so I don't... Thank you all for coming. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, my goodness. I have never had this many in my... in my. Uh, I feel like a Lexus now. I feel like a star. Yeah, kind of early. In there. Well, they're outside now. Oh, you guys are awesome. And thank you for the super hearts and everything. You guys are so awesome. I think this is a, something that everybody wanted to see. Okay, I blend in the milk and, and butter. I got to put my butter in there. And I use the uh, vegan butter, which is the uh, um, those Earth Balance, and I'm going to beat until smooth. This batter bowl is going to work great because i got to pour it through the skillet. Okay, Alexis. This batter bowl is great. Um, yeah. They most of them, yes, the ones I'm using now, well, the feeder's not. But, yes, my gadgets are Pampered Chef. The bowl, the bowl I'm using right now is Pampered Chef. The, uh, um, the, uh, measure, the measuring cups for our Pampered Chef. Um, the one pup cup prep bowl is, is Pampered Chef. My, the measure alls are Pampered Chef. I have most of the stuff I'm using is Pampered Chef. These are hard to get off, but I, can, I have to work at it. To, it doesn't want to come out right away. I'll just leave it off for right now. I'll get it out later. Okay, now. That's frustrating when it don't come off. Now, pour batter into oiled 10-inch skillet. Well, I've got, I've got my 10-inch skillet here. And I'll pour this in here. And I'm not going to turn my burner on because it's going to go into the oven. Um, I'm going to let you see what I'm doing down here. So I'm going to pour this in here. And I've got an oil. Oh, I've got oil in here. This is my favorite. This is my favorite um, scraper. Is the huge Pampered Chef scraper. I think Alexis has got the, the little, the small one and the medium size. But she does not have this one. I love this one. This one really does the job. And if you haven't got any Pampered Chef, contact Alexis. And uh, 
she will set you up with Pampered Chef. Whether you want to be a host, you want to for a party, or you want to be a consultant, or you just want to buy something, let her know. Christmas, this is a, a good time to buy Christmas gifts. I hope you don't have to send them too far because they, they might not get there in time if you do. My, my son called me today, you know, stuff that he wants. He says, I'll never get here in time. So I, I'll just give him some money. I got, got him one gift and I'll just give him some money. So that's what I'll have to do. Okay, now let's see. Now combine remaining sugar, brown sugar, four tablespoons cocoa, and sprinkle over the batter. Okay, <clears throat> I'll get my bowl out. I'll, get, I'll use my other bowl here, the one that I started with, and I'll use it. I'll just dry it out, and I'll just use this one because this one is small enough. Don't need a great big one for that. Okay. Have to wash a little bit more, but here's the rest of the sugar. And I'm probably just going to whisk this stuff. It says uh, remaining sugar, brown sugar. Now, my brown sugar is hard as a rock, and I've got those things from Alexis, but it's not seeming to work too well. So I'm going to use coconut sugar instead of brown sugar. I don't really think it matters because the, the brown sugar, it looks like, the coconut sugar looks like brown sugar anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one since the other one got real dirty. So I'll just put, put, put the half a cup on this two cup measure. You can, one thing about these, they're, they're universal. You can use, you can use them, both of them. You can use either one for, for your measuring. You can measure a lot or a lot. It wants to clump up a little, but it's not. Coconut sugar happens to be real, real, real easy to use. I love coconut sugar. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. And this is this is actually organic, pure and unrefined. So I'll, I'll be right back. I'm gonna put this back, and I'll be right back. Sydney likes to play with my rug and turn it upside down. Okay, now brown sugar and four tablespoons of the cocoa. Okay, here we got the four tablespoons of cocoa. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, wash my tablespoon thing out. Or I'll just get in something else. I'll use, a, uh, I'll use one of these of my cocoa. Because I need, oh yeah, I can, here it is. I can use this one here. I set it aside for that very reason. Forgot I had. What I'm just going to do is I'm just going to whisk this stuff. Three and four. And I'll put this back because I'm done with this now. I like to put back the stuff that I'm done using so I don't mix it up. Um, okay. Thank you everybody for coming in here. You guys are awesome. Two tablespoons of corn sprinkled over and then combine. I'm going to take my whisk and I'm just going to kind of combine this a little bit. And then I'll pour it over the batter. And then I'm going to get a, a real, some hot, I'll get some hot water. As hot as I can get it. In fact, I'm going to start running it right now. So I can get it hot. Get it hot, because i got to have hot water to pour over the top of it. That's what makes it the hot fudge. And this is a, going to be a good dessert. I've got plenty of other food that I, that I eat, but I, desserts I, you know, I don't make as many of those as I do the other foods. I thought, well, I'm going to put in here and make a dessert. I think it'll be awesome. I just happened to find this today, and I thought, well, shoot, I might as well just make this because I know people will want to see it. I don't know if my daughter's in here or not. If she's in here, I, 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 I didn't say hi to her, but she's <laughs> my daughter's uh, got several inches of snow. The kids didn't have school yesterday. They didn't have school today. And this is our last week of school for Christmas break. So... <laughs> So they're probably loving it. They didn't have school. Her, my oldest grandson is there, and he's supposed to go home tomorrow. Well, I guess it stopped snowing, so he will get out of there. But um, <laughs> if he wanted to leave now, he, uh, yesterday, he couldn't have. She, he wanted to get out yesterday, and she told him, no, it's too dangerous. You don't get out when it's like that. Okay, now, it says to, and sprinkle over the, okay, sprinkle over the batter. So I'm going to, I will take, let me see, let me get a different spoon, maybe I'll try to sprinkle them. I'm just letting the water run so it can get real hot. That's why it's on there, because I don't want to, 
because you got to have it real hot water. And that's what's going to make the fudge. And my, um, and once I pour the hot water on there, then you'll see what's going to happen. I can see why they're having me use a 10-inch skillet. Now, I'll put the water on there, and that's going to spread it out. It's all right. Okay. okay. Now, now i got to see how much water it says. I think it's a cup and a fourth. All right, I'll use this. Well, that water is hot, I'll tell you. It's hot enough I can't drink it. I know that. I wouldn't want to try it. It's hot. Okay, pour hot water over it. There. Pour the hot water over it. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of get this down in here a little bit. And then I'll put it, get this down in here, and then I'll put it in the, I'll make sure when I put it in the oven that I don't uh, spill it. Let me get this out of the way. I'll move this out of the way and then I'll be over there. Just a minute. No, girls, there isn't anything on the floor for you. There isn't anything on the floor. Hopefully this will be, be lit enough, and then I'll, I'll set the timer on it. It says 30 to 35 minutes, so I think I'll set it for about a half hour or so. I don't want to set it for any more than that. But when you want to get it brown, I guess in the, in the skillet it's, it works a little bit different than... Okay, now. Put this over here. All right. Now i got to make sure I'm not in... Sure you make sure when you're on these skillets that you do not uh, put the hand put the put their handle in the uh, oven because it's not oven friendly. Alexa, set the timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes starting now. There, you guys heard Alexa. Now I don't have to set the timer that way. Then she'll go off. <laughs> uh, well, this is a hot fudge. It's hot fudge cake, Earlene. That's why it's it's, it's hot fudge. So, well, I'm going to see how my Alexa does. Uh, I'm going to see how my Alexa does with the timer. I know with Alexa sets hers. It was so funny. I was watching her live. I don't know what, what morning it was. I was watching her. And she, she had her doing her timer. And mine came on the same time. Or she asked, no, I know what it was. She was asking what the, what the weather was. Mine did the same thing. It was so funny. It gave me the weather at the same time. Oh, you're listening more than watching. Oh, okay. Or, okay, Benita. But it, it came on at the same time. It was hilarious. And I thought, watch it come on. No, I didn't. I used I used coconut sugar, um, Erlene, and I just put hot water over the top of it. That makes your hot fudge. And I put this I put it in there for 30 minutes. So we'll see how well it's gonna do. I didn't set the time on it. Alexa set the time for me. So she set the timer for me, so how is everybody doing and what's your, um, um, yeah, what could I change it to, John? What, what would be a good, <laughs> I think you probably can, but I have to think about it. Um, so what's everybody's weather doing today? Um, you know something, we were 51 degrees yesterday. Uh, <laughs> yeah, isn't that funny? <laughs> Oh, any name you want. Alexa, what's the weather? In Eugene, it's 44 degrees Fahrenheit with showers. Today, you can look for clouds and showers with a high of 47 degrees and a low of 31 degrees. Ooh, we're getting a low of 31 tonight with a high of 47. So you see how it works really well? Okay, okay. okay. Oh, thank you for coming in, and, and you guys are awesome, but thank you for coming in. You know, this is this is really great. You guys are really making me happy today, you know. I'm doing something that you guys want to watch. But as you can see, I put it in, the, in there without this. This uh, this handle is not oven friendly. If I'd have left the handle on, it would melt it. So you got to make sure to take it off. It's real easy to stick it back on, though, and I can pull it back out. But uh, this would be an awesome, awesome cake, I think. It's a hot fudge 
hot fudge cake, and that's why you pour water over it. You got to make it hot fudge. So it won't make it hot fudge, Arlene, without the hot, without the without the hot water. Well, I do <laughs> I do have dishes to do again, <laughs> so I'm going to have to do those when I get done off of here. But so what else, what what's everybody's weather doing right now? Like I said, we're 44 degrees right now and it's raining. Um, we got a high of 51 yesterday. I think 51 or 53, something like that. That was able to walk the dogs yesterday. But it's a little on the cool side right now, so I won't walk them today. Oh, it just, ah, okay. Got to start it back up. What it did is it just, it, the, it, what it just did is it, uh, um, it just got, got preheated. But that, that was not that bad. It just got preheated. Um, yeah, my daughter, she lives in House Springs, and they're covered in snow as well. Her kids did not go to school yesterday, nor did they go today. Her husband did not go to work for yesterday and today. Um, 37 degrees. It's supposed to start warming up. My daughter said it's not going to get much warmer than about 31 today. So it's, not, it's going to stay pretty, pretty cold, and it's not going to melt very fast. But, uh, you know, my grandson, he lives in Iowa, and they will not have any of this snow. It, it passed them by, so he... So, because I asked her, I says, well, when he gets home, he's going to have snow. She says, no, they're not getting any of it. Isn't that funny how it, how it strikes some areas and some other areas it doesn't? But, you know, it is winter time after all. Next week is Christmas, so you can, I guess you can expect it to happen. The weather is very fickle that way. It's very changeable. But I hope that we have great weather for Christmas. I, I should come in here Christmas Eve. Uh, yes, you may, Alexis. Yes, you may. You certainly can. I'm waiting for it. Um, so um, we're all we're all anticipating on our secret Santa. We're all anticipating who has our names. You know, each of us know whose name we have, but the others don't know who we, ha we have. Anticipating, uh, um, you know, seeing seeing what's coming and stuff. And uh, it's it's funny, you know. Uh, you got to be so careful that you don't give anything away. So um, I wish Alex would come in here because I'd tell him I got it. Awesome. That is awesome. Awesome, Alexis. You're, keep, you're going the right direction. 0 0.2. Awesome. That's great. Well, at least you didn't gain anything. So that's great, Alexis. That's really great. You're, you keep it going. Oh, you thought you gained because you started eating the wrong thing. It's real easy to do that. Get off, get off track, you know, and start eating things that you shouldn't. And then all of a sudden, you, you know, but it's, yes, I said, yay, hooray, you are looking so good. Um, my daughter-in-law, um, oh, you didn't track, your app was down. My, da my daughter-in-law, when I saw them on Sabbath for church, my daughter-in-law has lost 60 pounds since May, and she keeps on losing. My granddaughter lost 47, and my son lost something like 50 pounds. So they are doing really well. And I took one look at my son, and I thought, oh, my goodness, he is shrinking so fast. And my daughter-in-law and my granddaughter look so good. Uh, oh, after the caramel sauce and caramel popcorn. Yes. Um, yeah, it is amazing, isn't it? Um, okay. Okay, Alexis. Take care. Um yeah, she, I mean, she's she looks so good. At, of course, they have the app. You know, they use the app. Now, my grandson, he's not doing the Weight Watchers. He doesn't think he needs it, I guess. So he's kind of <laughs> controlling his weight without it. But my son's on it. My granddaughter's on it. And my daughter-in-law's on it. And they're doing really, really well. They've lost over oh, well over 100 pounds between the three of them since May. So that, you know, that is really good. It's an accomplishment because it's so hard to start on something and keep at it. You know, because you have a tendency to say, I can't do this, and I'm tired of it, and I don't want to keep doing this anymore. But, you know, they, they're, I'm happy for them that they look so good. They keep right on, they keep right on losing, you know. I know that it, I, with my granddaughter, it's probably tapered off a little bit. However, she does take and measure everything out. My, my daughter-in-law told me that a tablespoon of this and a tablespoon of that, and she will not put any more than that on her plate. She's very self-conscious of how much she puts on her plate, and she won't go above that. She was kind of, um, on Thanksgiving, kind of, kind of, kind of watched her too. But she doesn't like potatoes of any kind. It's the texture of them. And that's ever since she was a little girl, and she's 17 now, so she will not eat mashed potatoes. 
Uh, and, and I thought maybe that she would start again, but she says, no, it's the texture. She just doesn't like the texture of potatoes. So she won't eat them fried. She won't eat them mashed. She won't eat potatoes, period. So she's missing out on a lot on potatoes. But, you know, that's what it is. But she's counting her calories and, and making sure that she's doing what she needs to do to lose the weight. You know, 60 pounds is a, uh, is a feat in itself. You know, no matter if you do it in a month or two or three, four, whatever, you know, you just got to keep going. I weighed myself the other morning, and I was 196. So I've really lost a lot, too. And I started at 250. So I've really come down, too. And, of course, mine's been a while. I, You know, it fluctuates up and down and something, you know. But that's I'm not on Weight Watchers, either. I'm on my vegan diet. Um, yeah, I know. I know. It's hard. It's hard. Now, I used to do slim fast, and I don't recommend anybody do that. You do slim fast, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's not going to be very good because you're eating all the wrong stuff. And I went on that for a while, and I could never lose. And I couldn't figure out why. I thought, well, I should never have been on that in the first place. But I was on it, and I'm kind of glad that I'm not on it anymore. You know, I decided to get the, get off of there. Be, be on what I'm, I'm being at. And I'm only a vegan because... It's healthier for me. That's what I want to be. I'm not forcing anybody when it comes in here to become vegan because that's so, totally up to you. You can do whatever you want. You can make this with cocoa, Hershey's cocoa, or whatever you want, or cacao, whatever you want to use. You can you can make it. <coughs> Hi, good to see you. <coughs> you can make it non-vegan or make it, yeah, non-vegan if you want. Because you don't have to be vegan to like this. You just make it your way. You know, I love to do that. I, I love, you know, and that's what the recipes are, are, are for. You know, there are a lot of tweaking. You can tweak them for your liking. Um, oh, my goodness. Really? Jello food coloring? Oh, my goodness. I didn't realize that that jello food coloring could do that. Well, I, I guess you realize now you probably better not be on it. Oh, man. Oh, that's terrible, Damon. But I'm, I hope you get to feeling better. That's migraines can be awful bad. My daughter has suffered a lot, a lot of, um, a long time, many, many years with migraines. Um, I've never really had them. Thank goodness I haven't. But I guess they can be pretty, pretty bad. I try not to, I try to watch what I eat, but it's not always easy because you have a tendency to kind of um, go the other way and say, oh, the heck with it. I'm going to splurge one day. You know, and I'm going to splurge today and diet tomorrow, I say, and eat a little bit more than you should. Now, that's probably on Thanksgiving, ate a little bit more than I should have. But I thought, well, that's a holiday. It's a special day. It's only one day. And then after the rest of that, then I'll start going back to where I was. And, that's, and I did because it's real easy. You know, um, I don't I don't want to sit there and not eat anything. Um, yeah, it's up. I've got a um, four and a half foot tabletop tree. Um, it's... Uh, from Balsam Hill, which I am paying for it. It's a very nice tree, but it looks like a real tree. Um, it's just got clear lights on it, and I've got um, bulbs for it. And I don't, I don't have a tree top on it. I've got a bow, a bow up on top. Um, I can't really show you the tree because the, I'm in the kitchen and it's in the living room. Um, yeah, I have, and it has sunk in the middle. You're right, it has sunk in the middle. Yeah, I have. Um, Okay, if you want to go for a ride, I can take you for a ride, and I can show you my tree, and I'll then I'll put you right back into the into the into the living room when we get done, uh, into the kitchen. I'll have to tr I'll have to flip the thing. I'll have to flip my camera though. Wait a minute. Whoops! I, I don't want to. There, there's my tree. Um, you can see it's it's a uh, really pretty. It's uh got um ribbon on it. Um. Yeah, it's got, I got ribbon around it, and I've got um, silver ornaments, um, and it's all clear lights. In fact, I can get real close, and I can show you. Don't, don't mind my TV sitting in the living room. That's my, that's my son needs to get that out of here. We, we unhooked it, and we just never got it out of here yet. Um, this is the, uh, there, you can see it's a little closer. There's what it looks like. Um, yes, isn't, and this is a balsam hill. It took me a while to even shape it. Oh, thank you, thank you. It took me a while to even shape it. It really did. <laughs> it really did. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go back. I'm gonna we're gonna flip. We're gonna go back into the kitchen now, and I'll take you for a ride. Thank you. People wanted to see the tree. Yeah, I leave it on all night. It kind of shines in my room, but 
Yeah, the, all they have is clear lights. Um, I'd rather have multicolored lights, but I'll take the clear lights. I guess if that's all they have, that's all I can. I guess all I can do. Um, yeah, it is stylish. If, balsam, if you know anything about Balsam Hill, they're expensive, but they're well worth it because they 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 put a lot of time into making them, and they really look real. Um, yeah, it's pretty good size. It's not too bad. Um, <laughs> it, it's 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 not as big as some living rooms are, though. Um, and I just sit in my easy chair, you know, and I, you know, do things on my computer, what have you. But um, I love it. You know, I know a lot of people won't put trees up for, for Christmas. They won't even celebrate Christmas. But, you know, I, I feel this way. I celebrate it with my family. My, my, my daughter-in-law and son, son have, a, have, a, have a real Christmas tree. I don't condemn those that don't have a Christmas tree or that don't want to celebrate it. But neither should I be condemned because I do celebrate it. Um, yeah, I know, but I could not get any multicolored lights for that particular size tree because they were out of them. So I had to take the clear lights. Oh, thank you. It's it's It was built in 1990. It needs a lot of work. It's got to have a new roof and everything on it. That'll get around to it, but um, it needs to it needs to have a lot of work. But anyway, it's, it's a home. I don't have a roof that leaks, so thank goodness for that. Um, it needs, to, it, like I said, it does need, to, does need a lot of work, but anyway... That's that's the, my Christmas tree. Um, I've got a wreath on the door as well. Um, no, it's not that old, but it does need a new roof because it needs to be replaced. It hasn't been replaced. You wish you had, oh, I, you know the fireplace? I love that fireplace. I don't use it though. I don't know if you noticed, and, and I could take you back in there. Oh, you're in an apartment. Um, there is a Thomas Kincaid a painting right above my fireplace. And it is, it is a Thomas Kincaid painting that I said I was going to have him. We, we got the divorce. I wanted it. Uh, yes, he will. Uh, I said I wanted the Thomas Kincaid painting. The Thomas Kincaid painting is a gorgeous painting, but it it uh, very expensive. It's it's a actually it's a um, it's not the original. It's a copy because if you had to get the original, you'd pay thousands of dollars. And if anybody knows anything about Thomas Kincaid, of course he's passed away now, but he would paint everything he would draw it with pencil first and then he would paint it uh yes the painter of light and at the painting i have on my um, on my fireplace is of a, of a of houses um okay let me take you back let me take you back whoops i'll take you back and uh i'll let you see i'll, I'll flip you over as soon as i get to my living room or oh, my, my chandelier don't my chandelier is is uh i took some pieces off of it because i have to wash them so I'm going to show you the, the, uh, now there, here is the Thomas Kincaid painting. Isn't that beautiful? It isn't, it is a copy. It's not the original because if you get the original, it's a very, very expensive, but I love that painting. Um, it is, it is a beautiful painting. He is the painter of light and it fits beautifully on my fire over, over my fireplace. Um, yes, it is. It is a beautiful painting. I really love it. Um, as they say, it makes, it may, and then my tree, everybody likes to see my, those that didn't see my tree, there's my tree. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, it is, it's beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to swing, swing, swing back around. Thank you. Oh, of course, this is a, and I've decided to put a little snowman up here with a, and he's fiber optic. Um, this TV was given to me by somebody from church and all it's got is Roku on it, so I don't watch regular programs on it. Although I can't do Roku, but, um. No, it's not. This no. This is a this is this here is a ceramic doll. That's a ceramic doll. This is an angel this is for Christmas, but I don't I don't have a I don't didn't have her light light up, but this is fiber optic there. Um I like my fiber optic stuff. Of course there's my granddaughter. That's a, an earlier picture of her, and there's my grandson. Um uh, oh no on the fireplace? Uh, uh which one? Because I don't have any voodoo dolls. No, this is not. Oh, this is not. This is a. This is a doll. Oh yeah. This no. That's not a voodoo doll. That is. That is a doll that. That I need to need to wash her dress and stuff. But it's it's a ceramic. Um. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's. <laughs> it's not. It 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 needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of cleaning right now. But you can you can basically get an idea of what it looks like. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and turn now. So, there. You can pretty much see behind me 
what everything looks like. I'm going to put go for a ride now. We're going to go back on the stove. So you can, but you can get an idea um, what everything looks like. Um, pretty much, it's an older house, but you know it's it's mine nonetheless, and I'm and I'm happy with it. You know, so basically you got a tour now. <laughs> and then as soon as uh, as soon as she gets done saying that, I haven't heard her say that the timer's gone off yet. Oh, thank you for the super hearts. Have you guys heard her say anything about the timer yet? I haven't heard her say anything. I've uh, been listening, and she's pretty, I have the thing up pretty loud. Um, I have it up pretty loud. Oh, you're welcome. I have the. I have a la her up pretty loud. I don't want to say her name, but I have her up pretty loud. So I didn't hear her say that the timer went off, because she makes a noise after the timer goes off, like Alexis's does. So I, <laughs> now, I could have gotten the Echo Show, but I didn't do that because, I don't think I need that, um, especially with the ring. If, if anybody knows about the, the ring um, security feature, video camera, um, I don't want to be anybody to say anything about it, but I am going to get it. It's coming because I feel with my situation, I need to be protected. I need to be safe because, you know, by myself, I don't want to have anything happen. So this way I can keep track of when people come to my door Especially at night, somebody comes to my door. I don't have to go to the door and, and go go answer it. Somebody came the other night from the from the from Mormons. It was pitch black outside, and he came to my door. And I ran to the door and I says, "Who is it? <laughs> oh, you love it? Awesome! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I only, I paid. Um, I got it through Amazon. I paid one hundred and twenty nine for it, which is originally uh, two hundred dollars for it. Um. Oh yeah, but it's two originally two hundred dollars, and it's the ring too. It's not the it's not the first one. It's the second one. How, now, I see. I only have the Echo Dot, um, which is just a speaker, and she plays Christmas music and what have you. But I didn't think I needed the video. I am. I didn't. I, it's coming tomorrow. Um, but I have to charge the battery and everything up. But I didn't think I had to have the video part of it because you can still see it on your phone. Because they said that if you have the ring thing on your phone, it'll still chime on your phone. Uh, that my ex-husband told me that they, they have been hacked. He served a couple of them. And I don't really see how because I've got a secure network. Um, yeah, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos. I've been watching YouTube videos on it. And it's for security measures. Because if you live in an area where, where packages, we really don't have packages stolen here. But sometimes I don't always hear the doorbell ring. Or they don't, or they knock on the door, and I'm not always home. This way, I can, I can, I can, I can see it from anywhere. Uh, oh, really? Uh, a two authorization. What is that, Sharon? Um, oh, you got a message from Ring from Hack from Ring, and they did not get hacked. Oh. Um. If it's a doorbell, I'll have it hardwired. Um, it is the doorbell, but uh, from the one I'm getting, they said you don't have to hardwire it. Uh, I can't hardwire it myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the door uh, with with uh, double stick, uh, double sided tape, and they said you can still use it that way because it's got a battery in it, and you can still run it on the battery. Uh, Yes, but it's gonna go. It's gonna be. It's gonna go through my. I'm gonna sync it up to through Alexa, and and she will notify me when somebody comes to the door. Um, oh, some baby cross. But all I have to do is she is she is Alexa compatible. And all I have to do is set it up with her, and she will let me know when somebody's at the door. Um, I do too. <laughs> Oh, yours is hardwired. Well, I don't, I'm not, see, I live alone and I can't hardwire it. I have to disconnect my, and I don't know which one's the doorbell, and I have to disconnect it. So they said you don't, with mine, you don't have to hardwire it. They said you can get the chime for the inside and put it on your, which I don't have, which I guess is $30. Get the chime to plug into your outlet and a ring on that too. Um, so I'm just going to try it this way. They said it'll ring on your phone. You don't have to hardwire it. If you get the different one, like the Pro and the Elite, they said, yes, you have to hardwire that. But the the Ring 2, I watched videos, and the people did not hardwire it, and it still works. They said, no, you don't have to hardwire it. Um, well, I've got a loud doorbell. Um, yeah, but they but they but you can set it up for different sounds, I guess. 
for, for chimes, bells, even Christmas music or what have you. So you can set it for whatever. Uh, that's right. Security we need. Uh, oh, you watch through your phone. Yeah. I'm not going to hardwire mine because I'm, I, I live alone and I figured I'm just going to use it that way. Put double, I uh, got some mounting tape today at Walmart that's good for, um, you know, it's up to 15 pounds, which, which that is nowhere near that. Double-sided tape and mount it on the house and use it that way. They say the battery lasts a good five, six months. I mean, the battery isn't going to, isn't going to work unless you, somebody comes to your door and you rings your doorbell. But I'm, what I'm going to do is my daughter says, Mom, what are you going to do about the other doorbell? I says, well, I'll probably put duct tape on her somewhere, say, out of order. So they don't ring that. It's on the side 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 panel anyway um uh, okay i'll tell you what it's made from uh, <clears throat> oh should uh, shouldn't compete no that's uh i hope not i hope not uh should <laughs> i'm not sure what you're trying to say but you can check battery health on the ring and know when it... They say it's a, it lasts a good five to six months, which is awesome. But they say when you first get it, you got to charge it up. And it may take five to ten hours to charge it up. I'm thinking, whoa, well, I'll just charge it up overnight, you know. But I, I want to I definitely... Because I figured I live alone. I need some I need some protection for myself, you know. I, I don't want anybody... And this is what the thing looks like when it gets done. This is what it looks like. And I will tell you what's in it if you want to know what's in it. Um, it's got baking powder in it, brown sugar, but I use coconut sugar instead. Cocoa, which I use my carrot powder. Um, a cup of flour, a four, quarter teaspoon of salt, a one and one quarter cup of sugar, and I use cane sugar. Um, vanilla in it, half, one and a half a teaspoon of vanilla, one and a quarter cup of hot water, a third cup of butter, and a half a cup of milk. That's what it's got in it. Um, you melt the butter. And I use dairy, uh, non-dairy milk. So I'm making this vegan. I'm not using any dairy milk. And I'm not using cocoa. I'm using carrot powder, as everybody knows. But it should be really good. It's just a matter of waiting for the timer to go off. Because it's easier for her to tell me how much time I've got than to set the time on this thing. That thing is hard to set. So I'll just use her for my time. You know, it makes awesome. I've been playing Christmas music with it. I'll wake up in the morning. I'll read my Bible. And I want to hear Christmas music. So I'll tell her to start playing Christmas music. So she'll start playing it. You know, and it's awesome. It, it really is. I don't have to. I don't have to go change, do anything. Just tell her, and she does it automatically. You know, um, I won't say anything now because I don't want to interfere, interfere with this. But uh, if you haven't got one, I suggest you get one because they're awesome. You know, like I said, I didn't get the Echo Five. I could have, which is a video, but I figured I don't need it because I can still see what's going on on my phone. Because you got to, you got to put it on your mobile device anyway. You got to install it on your mobile device. So I figured I'm going to install it on my mobile device my iPad, my phone, I won't have to need it. And probably put it on a computer too. So you can, I can get video and you could go, I can go anywhere, you know. I can't take the, I wouldn't be able to take that with me, but having it on the phone and I can, I can, whenever I'm away, I can check, check on Ring, check and see if there's anybody there, how things are going, you know, because it's, it's very safe. You know, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. She's supposed to tell jokes, though. You can have her tell a joke, and I haven't had her do that yet. But she will give the weather. Um, uh, well, I guess you got your answer then, Damon. Hey, I guess you, she won't. She won't. She won't do that. But uh, it's nice that she does give the weather report. You know, she gives the uh, the uh, how about the temperature? You know, you always want to know what the temperature is the next day. My dogs are out there barking at a squirrel or something, but. Uh, it's awesome. I haven't had her tell me a joke yet, but uh, you know something? I listen to her, and I listen to Siri, and I says, my goodness, it sounds like the same one that does Siri. Who knows? Yeah, I, I know. That's what I, I, that's what I found out. I can, but you know, it just goes by your voice, and even though Alexis herself was doing hers the other day on the weather, mine came, came up anyway. It wasn't my voice using. It was hers, but she still came on anyway and gave, gave the weather. I thought that was hilarious. That she the weather on my side when I didn't ask for it. But the, um, it is an awesome thing. I don't pay $25 for it at Best Buy. I thought, boy, it's really, it's really, it's really pleasant because I can, I can buy Christmas music if I want to. 
I don't have to worry about getting my CDs out or DVDs or anything. I just have her play play music, and, and, and when it's done, you know, then I can ask her to play more. I'm just not playing, you know. It's awesome. You know, tech, the technology is so grand, you know. But, you know, sometimes it goes faster than we do, and you, it's a hard time to keep up with it sometimes. You know, things change, like the computers change, the phones change, just everything changes. And if you don't keep up with it, you're left behind out in the cold. So, so I like to change with, I like to change with it if I can. So I try to try to keep up with it. It's not always easy, but I do the best I can. I'm going to get a, um, a towel or something to put down here so when it comes out that I can put that on there. I don't know what these girls, all these girls are outside running around. I'm going to put this down here. I'll probably be making something in the in the blender again. If you haven't got this uh, the deluxe cooking blender, you can get that too. Um, it's awesome as well. Um, my quick my quick cooker and my deluxe cooking blender are two of the main things and my main appliances that I have that I use a lot. Um, I use them quite a bit. Um, there's something that I, I I'm glad I've got. I wish I'd have had them a long time ago, but you know I use them. I use them. I have them when I need them, and uh, they're they're there. But uh, People, somebody asked about Pampered Chef. Um, if everything I'm using, this, yeah, this is the adjustable measuring measuring spoon, and that's that's these are Pampered Chef. I have a lot of tools that are Pampered Chef. Everything in here is basically Pampered Chef, uh, that, except this isn't. But everything in here is basically Pampered Chef. This whole this holds a lot of tools. It's a real good it's a real good tool holder because then I everything's at a, at, a, at a glance, and I have everything I want when I want it. You know your your spatulas, your scrapers, or what have you, that big scraper, and you got the you got the medium sized one, you even got the mini one. This is the one I think is so cute. This one I use in the Vitamix because the Vitamix has got the blades right towards the bottom, and it's hard to get under there to get the stuff out. So I sometimes use this when I make the peanut butter, or even on the Splendor too. It works real, real well. This mini scraper, this this is awesome. So I've got all three of them. You saw that great big one I have. It's huge. I love it. Um, yeah, they are awesome, aren't they? Um, it helps to get the stuff out of the bottom because I don't like to waste anything. If I make peanut butter or whatever, I want to get everything out. As you saw me, I wanted to get everything out of out of that batter bowl. I didn't want to waste anything. Oh, I guess there it is. Okay, just let me know. It's time to get it. Okay, all right. All right, I guess she's letting me know. Alexa, stop the timer. Let me get a, I'll get a, a, my microwave grips. Because I don't want to pull this out a little bit. So I can get this on here. We're going to see what this looks like. This is not, it's kind of, kind of, kind of put this on from an odd angle. And it's harder to get it on for an odd angle than straight, than straight on my, on my, oh, I better be nice if I, if I open this up, that's why I can't get it on. There we go. Well, almost had it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, come on, get on there. Now that I now that I say that I can't get this on here, but we'll I'll get it on there and we'll get this out. Ah, now I don't want to go on. I know it. Let me pull this out a little bit more and I'll get it on. This is a this can be a trick sometimes if you you watch me and I sure I'd like to do demonstrate this a little bit more because it's a trick to get it out when it doesn't want to when it doesn't want to come off. There we go. Now I got it. All right. Whoa. I yeah, it's bubbling on the side. I thought maybe it was not done, but it is. It's just bubbling on the side. Let me turn my turn this off. Okay. Now you can see what it looks like. It's just bubbling on the side. It's it's pulled away from the sides, but it is done. Um, you can see it's cracking. I had it in there 30 minutes, and you can see that that uh, look. Look at that. So, I probably could. I wonder if I should put that in there for another five minutes. Maybe I should put it in there for another five minutes. It looks like uh, I think I need to put that back in there for another five minutes. Okay. I'm going to have to put it in there for another five minutes because it looks like it's not quite done yet. Let me put it in for another five minutes because it's awful soft on the bottom. On. 
Alexa, set the timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. <laughs> um, what do you mean self-saucing? I don't know what you mean. I put it in for another five minutes. I probably should have that in the 35 minutes because it's wiggling and it looks like it wants, it's not quite done on the bottom. So I thought I better, better, uh, it might, but I'm going to put it in for five. I think I'll, it said 30 to 35 minutes. Oh yeah, like chocolate sauce. Yeah, that's supposed to be hot chocolate. That's what it is. Oh yeah. I, I put hot water on the top and that makes it like, make like a, cho like, like a chocolate sauce. Of course it went down, but it looks like it could, he said 30 to 35 minutes, so I'll put on another five minutes. I think it'll be okay. And she set the timer for me for another five minutes. So I can still stand here and talk to you that way. And then when I get done down here, then I can uh, get my dishes done. But anyway, um, I did miss coming in here yesterday, but I thought I better take a break. I better relax and, and rest up because I was, so, I was sitting there falling asleep, and I thought, well, this is a fine kettle of fish. Uh, just a few days. I only got it... Um, on Friday, I think it was. Friday is when I got it. Hi, Alex. Oh, and I wanted, I'm glad you came in, Alex. Thank you for the black seed oil. It came yesterday. Um, I wanted to let you know that since you, since you came in here that I did get it yesterday. Um, the one I got is $25 that I got at Best Buy. Um, they have different different ones. I have the third generation, but they also have some more that are more expensive. Now, this normally costs... Uh, the Echo Dot is a $25. The Ring is a lot more, but the Echo Dot, but they they go up in price from there. It depends on what you get. They have the Echo Elite and, and that. Oh, there's my daughter. <laughs> you bought Miss the Periscope, sweetie. Oh, they tried to deliver it on sale. Well, that... They, del you know something, Alex, I didn't even know it was, uh, they delivered it yesterday and they knocked on my door. Uh, yeah, so they did deliver it. I, I, I was here when they delivered it. So I, I, uh, when they knocked on the door, I went to, I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought maybe it was one of the Christmas gifts until I opened it up and I saw it was a black seed oil. Uh, oh, my daughter. <laughs> She's been busy with the PC slicer, cook, uh, slicing up. Well, how do you like that thing, sweetie? Isn't that cool? That she's been using the PC slicer for fried potatoes because <laughs> they are snowed in and she can't go out and get very many groceries. So she's got a lot of potatoes, so she so she might as well fix potatoes, you know. So they got quite a bit of snow, probably five to six inches of snow. So uh, uh, I've got the Echo Dot. I got the Echo Dot, Alex. I didn't get the, uh, there's, uh, there's uh, different ones. You get on up, you know, you got the Echo 5, which is a video. I didn't get that one. Dot. I got the Dot, the third generation, the Echo Dot. It's just a little round one. That's all I got. It's, I only paid $25 for it at Best Buy, but, she, but uh, I, she plays Christmas music. She sets the timers for me, um, you know, and it, it's awesome. I use it. It's supposed to, it's supposed to uh, you know, you can use it with the, with the ring, which, which will be coming coming tomorrow. Um, I'm getting that through, I got that through Amazon. The reason I bought it through Amazon is I saved $70 because normally the ring is $199.99 and I'm getting it for $129.99. So I saved $70. Um, uh, not yet, sweetie. It's not that time yet. Yep, she does. She sure does. She, uh, cause I asked her what the weather is and she'll tell me, she'll tell me the degrees. She exactly does. It's it's awesome, you know. She and uh, she sets the time for me and everything. Um, it's it's nice to be able to have that. When Alexis was on the other day and, and she was she was asking the hers the weather. Mine mine gave me the weather too. And I'm thinking I didn't ask for it, but she gave it to me anyway. <laughs> no, not yet. Only it's quarter to. I think they'll what they'll do is they'll ring the doorbell when they come. Um, oh, you're welcome. You're so welcome. Uh, my daughter, you'll get to, you'll get to see what it looks like. I took it out once, oh, sweetie, but it wasn't didn't look like it was quite done. I need to put it in the next five minutes, and I had her set the timer for me. Uh, I don't think so, Damon. Not she's not that sophisticated. Um, I I haven't I haven't tried that, but I doubt it. Uh, uh, so I you know I but I can do the I can do that myself. But I like to I like to know the weather. Sometimes when I get up in the morning, I don't want to check my phone, so I ask her what the weather is. And she'll give it to me. So it, it makes it awesome, you know. Oh, 
Okay. All right. Alexa, stop the timer. That's awesome. And she said that, that I can ask for that timer, and she set the timer for me. Oh, I got to get this back on again. Ah, five minutes probably didn't make that much difference. It's still, it's still bubbling underneath, but I think it'll be okay. Let's hope it is. Um, ah, I've had a hard time getting this on with it being in the oven like that, and I don't want to ruin it. Hold, hold on. I'll get this. I'll get this back. I have to take it. To put it on, then I find out it's not quite done enough, and I put, then I take it back off. Now I'm having a hard time. Oh, there we go. I just wasn't doing it right. Oh, there it's better. There it's better. Okay. It just looks, it, it, yeah, it still, it still looks like it's, it needs to be done a little bit more, but I'm going to, I'm going to um, not worry about it because it's, uh, I think it's, it's done enough. There we go. So I think it's done enough. Um, you can see it's. And look at it. Wow. And that's that hot fudge that's doing that anyway. Oh, you miss your mom. I, you know, it's, it's hard to be without family during during the holidays, especially somebody that's passed, passed away. And all you can think about is the good times that you had with them. You know, um, I miss my aunt. My aunt, we spent, we spent Christmas, a lot of Christmases, every Christmas at my aunt's house. And she passed away uh, about three years ago, I think it was, at the age of about 90. So I miss her terribly too, but she ended up being in a nursing home because she couldn't take care of herself. Uh, oh, thank you. Well, I try to be. I'm not the perfect cook in the world, but I try I try my best um, to do what I need to do. But th this is done on top, so it's, it's, it's actually done on top. You can see it's floating around in the skillet. <laughs> Oh, it does. Well, I've got the Echo Dot, so I I don't know if if, if she can tell me. Um, maybe I should have her tell me a joke. Alexa, tell me a joke. Why did the French fries cross the road? They were trying to catch up to the chicken. <laughs> did you hear that? Why did the French fries cross the road? They were trying to catch up to the chicken. <laughs> cute one. I would have never guessed the answer on that one. <laughs> Alexa, tell me another joke. People hang up horseshoes for good luck. So why don't horses hang up socks? <laughs> I don't know. Why don't they? <laughs> why don't they hang up socks? So I guess that was the, I didn't quite get that one. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, she tells some good ones, doesn't she? That's funny. But there you can see my cake. Um, doing anything in the skillet seems to be a... Yeah, I know. Seems to be a lot better. I've been looking for a lot of skillet recipes because you can put them in the, put them in the skillet and put them directly in the oven, and you don't have to worry. You know, you don't have to use that many dishes. Although I had to use my bowls to mix it in. I didn't get that one either. I got the... Oh, thank you. I got the first one all right, but I didn't get the second one at all. Uh, yeah, it does look good, doesn't it? Um, but but doing it like this, it makes it a lot simpler. It doesn't take very long, and you can put these in the oven. These are this is a Pampered Chef pan. I like it because the lid, the handles do come off. Um, this is the 10 inch. Um, they have, this come with, the set comes with the 8 inch, the 10 inch, the 2 quart saucepan, and the 5 quart stock pot. The 12 inch skillet I had to buy on my own. Oh, it works the same like the others. Oh, except video. You don't. You can't have video through it, um, Vanita, because it doesn't have a screen. Um, yeah, <laughs> it does smell good. It does have. It does smell good. Let me tell you. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. Thank you for coming in. Um, this is my cake. This is this is awesome. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Oh, you didn't mean the video. Yeah, because it. It, it works the same like the rest of them except for the video ones because the video ones go a little further and they, they could show you. But I figured I didn't really need that because I can see it on my phone. I mean, my phone is as good as because you got to see it on your phone, computer, iPad, and that anyway. So I really didn't need the Echo 5. You know, I didn't need that at all. When I saw the Echo Dot there, that's the first, and I asked the, asked the salesman there about it. He says they're real good. They're quite popular, you know. 
And I know it was just a speaker, but I thought, well, this is gonna do. It's gonna serve me a purpose. Well, and it has because she's playing a lot of Christmas music, you know, and tells me the weather as you've heard, you know. Now she tells jokes. Uh, oh well, thank you, thank you. I try to come on every day, although I'm taking a few breaks now and again, so I may not come in here every day doing a cooking scope because it does get um, quite quite time consuming because it takes a it takes a lot of money to to prepare this stuff, you know, to buy the stuff. So I'm going to have to kind of slow down a little bit and maybe not come in here every day doing a cooking scope. I may do another scope, and if I don't come in a day or something, you're, you're, I'm okay. See, Alexis messaged me before I came in here wondering if I was okay because she's used to seeing me on here, and I wasn't in here yet. And I says, no, I'm okay. I'm, I'm getting ready to come on because I wasn't on yesterday. I just wanted to take a break. And then I... And, what she's doing, she's taking a break from, from Periscope, too, for uh, you know, and diversifying. I've got other things I want to do, too. I want to do Periscopes on how uh, you knit and crochet, loom knit or crochet, do tutorials like that, because I do that. There may be some out there that want to learn that. Um, I can give you tutorials, basically, on how you use some of the Pampered Chef products. Not always a cooking scope. Things to, to be diversified and change it up a little bit. I know you enjoy my cooking scopes, and I enjoy doing them too, but it is time consuming. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of money to prepare the food. Um, oh, good, good. Oh, you wanna set up a PayPal? Awesome. Um, welcome to everybody coming in, and thank you for coming in. Because, you know, it does take up a lot of my time. Um, Torture, torture telling. Oh my goodness, Damon. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, thank you. You're hungry. Um, well, I don't want to do those, but uh, um, I, I try to walk my dogs whenever I possibly can. And it's kind of hard now to walk three of them and periscope at the same time. I can do it, but as you can tell, tell in the last one I did. Sydney is constantly changing position. She's never walking in the same place. So she starts out one side and it ends up on the other. And they get their leashes all tied up together. Now, I can get a tether. But it's only good for two of them, but then one's by itself. So I probably will get the tether and just leave her by herself. <clears throat> oh, thank you. You would love to, to, to uh, learn crochet. I know a lot of people said they'd love to learn crochet. I taught my daughter how to crochet when she was younger. And she picked it up. In fact, sometimes in a way, I think she's a little bit better that, at it than I am because she does really well. She makes some um, squares for the homeless. She makes squares, then sends them into the homeless, you know. And they, what they do is they put them together on a blanket and, and make a. In fact, they showed, I think, on the website that she was dealing with, they had, they had her blanket, the squares that she had made, made into a blanket on their website. So she got notoriety for, for some of them that she had done. It takes quite a few squares, and, and uh, but she still works on those. She does hats. She does scarves like I do. But I want I do want to come in here some someday and show you the hat that I am making. Um, it's going to be a pretty one. It's, it's different colors of gray, light gray, medium gray, and a dark gray. Variegated on one, <clears throat> on one uh, uh, skein. But it's real pretty. I'm sorry. It's, it's an actual hat. It's an oval hat um, loom because it, it comes from KB. And it's a special one that you use for hats. And I, I can I make adult size hats on it. The hat that you see me wear when I do the periscopes outside and I show them, that is a hat that I made on that loom. I keep that one for myself. Um, so Because I like to have something to cover my ears. And it works really well. I wore it to Walmart today. But that one, that it's, it's a different colors, pink and blue, and um, I think I can show you the hat. Yeah, this is the one that I wear when I go walking. This is the one that, that I, 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 and you can see it's different colors, but the bottom rolls up, and I just saved this for myself. Um, this is the pattern I like doing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is this is a variegated yarn, and I thought this was a pretty color, and so I wear I wear this when I when I go outside when I walk the dogs because I need something for my ears because it does get quite quite chilly out there, so I have to have something on my, so I so I wear that one. So I want you to see that's that's one of them. I've got rid of all the other hats I had made. I mean, I got some scarves yet, but I think I'm going to basically stick to a lot of hats for right now. And like I said, 
I made a lot of hats and scarves and donated them to the mission because people people need those that go to the mission. You know, this time of year, there's probably a lot of them sleeping out on park benches and this being winter, <clears throat> they definitely can use those hats and stuff. So I'm glad I'm able to do them. Uh, my daughter and I, that's what we like doing. We like helping other people. That's what it's all about. You know, don't think of yourself. Help other people. You know, they'll be grateful that you did, you know, and, and I enjoy doing it. And, and when something you enjoy doing, that's what she should do. And not worry what anybody thinks about it or, or what they think of you for doing it or what they think of what project you made or anything. Just do it. You know, just take your time and do it. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I made quite a few hats and scarves. Um, it's something I've always wanted to do. And when we had the, when we had the um, mission barrel sitting at our church, we had three of them. And when we had them sitting there, I thought, well, this is a good opportunity to put these in there because I had a lot of hats and scarves and I didn't know where to send them to. So I took them to the church and I dropped them in the barrel. They were really appreciative of them. I mean, we filled that barrel up with hats and scarves and socks and jackets and, and mittens and you name it. You know, now I think they got one for um, toiletries. This month is on toiletries, which I forgot to get some, you know, the um, little small razors, um, your uh, deodorant, shampoo. Um, oh yeah, me too. But they're but they're wanting toiletries this month, which I forgot to buy some. I like to get those those kind that you carry, you know, th that you can carry in your purse. But I forgot to buy some. But you know, toiletries like toothpaste and deodorant and shampoo and razors. That's what they're looking for this month. So I'll have to get some of those and take some to church. I'm probably gonna. Get out another day this week and go get those because I think that they can really use those. You know, people have been putting them in there already, you know, so. Anyway, that being said, I've just been rattling on and on, you know. Anyway, um, I'll, sh I'll show you this one more time and I'm, gonna, and I'm gonna close this periscope up, but you can see this is an awesome, gonna be an awesome cake. Um, it's, it's good and done, it's cracked. It's good and done. I'm gonna let it cool before I ever cut into it. Oh, you're a couponer. Oh, yeah, I've seen those the extreme couponing. Oh, I've never tried that yet. Oh, man. Um, yeah, I know. They sell, they sell them for a reason. And that's what I'm going to do is get, get the little toiletry kits and take it to church and dump them off in the, in the barrel. Because, see, last month was your hats and scarves and mittens and jackets and, and blankets and stuff. This month it's toiletries. We've got three of them sitting in the church. So we can fill, so it'll take, you know, we'll probably get all three of them filled up, too. But that's what I plan on doing. But if you can help somebody, you know, do it. Because you know something? You feel real good afterwards doing it. Because you're thinking of other people instead of yourself. You're helping other people. And they're, um... <laughs> a lot of people have said that. But it's not hard. Just choose something that you want to do and say, Well, I'm going to help the homeless and do it for them. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, I sure try. I try awful hard, you know. I started this a long time ago. This is my, that's part of my ministry along with this cooking is my ministry. But doing things for the homeless is, is my ministry. Because if I can help somebody else and they get benefit from it, I want to do it. Because, you know, if I'm ever in that position, I would want to be helped too. Oh, you have hundreds of toiletries? Oh, awesome, awesome. But if you, if you want to help somebody, um, where do you go? See, um, uh, See if you can, if you have a mission or something, if you have a mission where you're at, uh, uh, where they take in families and that, women, children or stuff, see if you can donate them there. They may accept them there, the mission. Because that's what we're doing here is our, is our mission here, um, that, that they're taking all these, all this kind of stuff. And you know, they appreciate it because people are there, you know, stay there for quite a while sometimes. I don't know if there's a limitation how long they can stay there, but people go in there, you know, and, and they're given the gospel and they have a bed to sleep in and stuff, you know. But toiletries are a good thing, too. Uh, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sure he will because he knows I'm doing what I need to do. Um, you have a little less than 500 tubes of toothpaste. Somebody's been doing a lot of couponing. Wow. Man. Well, see, you could donate them to a mission. Or, or you could do this. You see somebody on the side, on, on the uh, homeless, downtown in your area, wherever you live, just take some along and hand them to the homeless 
because they would sure appreciate it. You could get rid of them that way. That's a good way to do it. You know, help the homeless whenever you can, um, because they're gonna they're gonna be they're gonna bless you're gonna be blessed for doing it, and they're gonna be blessed by having you do it. You know, because you're not thinking of yourself, you're thinking of other people, and that's the way it that's the way it is should be. <clears throat> um, but you know, and and that's what I that's what I want to do. I want to help other people too, because you know I just don't want to think of myself. I want to help other people and make them feel good. Because there's a lot of people out there. You know, we always say, we may not be doing very good. At least we've got a roof over our head. But there's always, when you think about it, there's always somebody worse off than you are. Always. When you think about it. The homeless, aren't they worse off than you? Because they're sleeping on a park bench. Uh, yeah, I think you could you could call around to your mission or whatever. Call around and ask that they might help, they, they might be willing to take them. Because they could always use that stuff. You know. Because people people need them, you know. Um, you have everything. Well, that's the best thing to do is just call around and ask, you know. And that's awesome that you're willing to help like that. That is a, that is amazing. Tons of it. Yeah, I would. I would just check at the mission first. If you got a mission, call that. Call them on the phone and ask them if it's okay. If you can donate that stuff, because I'm sure they'd love the donations, you know. Because I mean, when we had the barrel sitting in church and they said it was for the mission, I thought this is awesome. Because I'm always wondering what to do with those hats and scarves. So then I took them and, and was able to put them in the barrel. And they're gone. They're gone now. And, the, and barrels have been emptied out. And new barrels are sitting there now to put toiletries in. So it all ha it all works together, you know. Yeah, Salvation Army. Um, St. Vincent de Paul, yeah. Yeah, we have a St. Vincent de Paul here. And you can Salvation Army as well. So any of those, Goodwill maybe, or whatever. Or Sal Salvation Army to St. Vincent de Paul. Any of those. Anything that you can donate will be very much appreciated, you know, um, because people can always use them. Um, oh, wow. Wow. Woo, you always, oh, my goodness. You have aisles of stuff. Wow. Well, I'm sorry, you've got a store then. But that's awesome that you're willing to help other people. That's what it's all about. If I can do it, anybody can do it. If my daughter can do it. Anybody can do it, too, because she loves helping other people. I love helping other people. Because you get a blessing from it, and it's a more of a blessing than you'll ever realize. Because you think, oh, I helped somebody else, and I did not think of myself when I did this. And when I gave those hats and scarves away, I was glad to do it. I was so thankful that they were willing to take them, put them in that barrel, and give them to the people that really need them the most. Because you know there's people living out on the park benches this time of year, you know. And, of course, the ones in the mission have got a, have got a home some 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 want that uh, from right now but then when they leave the mission who are they going to go probably on a park bench again so there you go they're right back in the same boat so they need this stuff so whatever you can do to help is it would be appreciated i'm sure they're gonna they're gonna love, love it and you'll be happy that you did anyway i think i'm going to close this up because i should be getting my mail before too long so i want to show you this for the one last time this is my cake that i made it looks awesome doesn't it um, and, uh, try this and I'm going to post this up on my vegan page and, uh, hopefully it'll be okay. I'm going to cut into it in a little bit when it gets, when it gets, uh, when it gets cool enough, but I thank everybody for coming in. Now I'm not sure if I'm coming on tomorrow, but don't panic if I don't. Um, if I decide to come on tomorrow, I will, I will be on at the same time. If I don't, then I'll be on the next day. So whenever I come on again, you just wait for that bell. So until we meet again, you're welcome. Until we meet again, have a great and marvelous night. What's ever left of it. And take, oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Take care. God bless. I love you all. And bye-bye.